Hello everyone. My name is Jennifer, and I'm the engineer of Biochain. And today I will do a presentation of technical training. In today's training, we are divided into six parts. First part, I will do. Uh, I will introduce Bio YG system. Now we have more than fifteen parameters, including cardiovascular, hormones, inflammation, thyroid. Diabetes and other items. Okay, um, Bio YG first system including FIA test kit, incubator, and FIA analyzer. Okay, here I will uh, do a brief introduction for our device. Here we can see on the left side, this is PC interface, scanner interface, USB interface, and this is um. 12 volt adapter and the switch on and the switch off button here. At the front of the machine, we can see there's two slots. On the left side, this slot is used for SD card. The right slot used for Tesla channel. On the upper of the machine, we can see this is green. You can choose a Tesla mode and the menu here, and this is printer. Okay. On part two, is about Tesla procedure. On the Tesla procedure, I only want to highlight one important point. It's about system self-check procedure. Okay, we recommend our customer to do the self-check procedure monthly, and it can monitor our system are running properly or not. Okay, so um, each device comes with such bag. And the such bag contain with SD card and the quality control test reagent. Okay, next I will show you how to do the system self check procedure. Okay. First, uh, just uh, to take out the quality control kit and uh, insert the SD card to our machine and uh, click quick test. Then. Insert the reagent to our um, machine, then click Start Test. Then, to verify the result is under the indicator range or not, if the, if the result is under indicator range, and uh, the system check will pass. If the result is out of indicated range, okay, just uh, repeat the step again. If still out of indicated range, okay, so you can contest with a distributor or Biochan technical supporter. Uh, you can contest with me because I'm the engineer of Biochan, and uh, this is my uh, email here, jenniferju at biochan.com, and you can contest with me. I will do something for you. Okay, so at a part three, um, I will from preparation to testing to uh, highlight some cultures. Okay, the test kit. We required customer to put our test kit at dry and cool place. For the buffer, the recommend storage temperature is about two to eight degree. For analyzer. We required to put uh, the humidity less than 17% and the temperature must keep about 25 degrees. Please put the analyzer in dry, clean, and the level service place. Avoid tyroid and uh, direct sunlight. Uh, although there are some parameters. Uh, there are some parameters detection buffer can be stored at uh, 2 to 30 degree, but uh, we also recommend you to store it at uh, 2 to 8 degree. Preparation for SD card in insert. Okay, so please don't forget to insert the SD card before operation. If you do not insert the SD card, the screen will come out, uh, could not read the information about the SD card and it will affect the result. For lot number, please, every time you do the operation, you do the testing, please uh, check the lot number on the buffer and the test cartridge, uh, check they are the same lot or not. 
won't up. Since we required you to put the buffer to to eight degree, and uh, please don't forget, please uh, don't forget to wait about ten minutes for buffer and the sample to return the wrong temperature. Okay, if the sample using about a uh, whole blood, please mix well before operation. Buffer. Every time you uh, bring out a new buffer, please check the liquid. Of the, buff, of the buffer is clean, transparent, and uh, no impurity inside. If you found um, the liquid is contaminated, please don't use it. Just uh, take another new one to do the testing. Pipette. If you need 80 microliter uh, sample, just uh, using 10 to 100 microliter pipette. Do not use 40 microliter twice. If you need 20 or 40 microliter, please use 5 to 15 microliter pipette. Do not use 10 to 100 microliter pipette. Okay, so for the uh, sampling um, during the operation, please check uh, please check the sample type consistent with the menu. Don't be use the wrong sample type. It will affect the result. Mixing. Uh, after we adding the sample into the buffer, please mix the, the liquid well by inverting the buffer tube up to up and down like this for five to ten times. In some items, we require using siphon. Okay, so the principle to using siphon is to not reverse the order of the operation. Okay, so next, next I will show you how to do properly about uh, using siphon. First, uh, to using siphon to puncture the aluminum foil of the buffer, then using siphon to suck the samples. Then insert the siphon into the buffer. Then shake up the buffer properly. Okay, then uh, before we adding the mixture liquid into the reagent, so we should to discuss discuss first two first two drops because of these two drops contain with bubbles. If we using uh, such uh, liquid, it will affect the result. Okay, so then fi final just uh, to uh, drop the liquid into the reagent. In section, here we can see a uh, arrow direction on the uh, reagent. Okay, please be careful about the uh, insection. Don't be put it on backward, and make sure the cartridge is inserted to the right direction, as the arrow su suggests. We also we also should attention about the operation from the sampling to routing should be finished within one minute. Unless some uh, samples incubation uh, is required according to the manual uh, for specific test item, for uh, normally we should finish uh, within one minute. Next part, uh, I will introduce some curves. Okay, this is a um, normal curve showing like the picture. We can see uh, the first peak is began at uh, two hundred. For the second peak, the baseline will change around 900. That is a normal curve. Then I will show you some abnormal curve. Uh, this is just a line, uh, no fluorescence ro detection and the error code 005. Uh, this is a normal one. So the cause for such um, curve is because of no sample, no reaction. This, this is a curve accumulation. Uh, there are some problems, some reasons caused by uh, such curves. First one, we not mixing a uh, sample. And the uh, second, the test cartridge is damp or too dry. And the uh, reaction time is inadequate. And uh, sometimes you using a long sample type also uh, cause such a uh, curve accumulation. Uh, this is a curve contained with a lot of peaks. That is uh, because of the sample and the buffer are not mixed. Part 5. Troubleshooting. Uh, if you met 
Ergo Code 007. There are three reasons to cause uh, this problem. First, uh, motor drive chips. Second, acquisition board failure. Third, it's about a software update. So the solution to solve error code 007 is to replace some part of the machine. Okay, so but it also should under the instruction of engineer. Uh, to solve error code 007, you should provide me some information. First, it's a video of restart uh, the machine, the SN number, security level under the, under the machine, okay? Code 005, okay? Code 005 um, is, a, is a manual operation error, okay? So, um, to solve this problem, just uh, to check operation and the environment, to check every step testing, um, your you and your customer are do properly. Okay, so uh, the evidence you can provide to me is a result curve, videos of a whole operation, a whole whole operation processing of the customer. So it's about as a number security label. So you provide me such information, I can do help for you as soon as possible. Logo. If you met the problem about logo suck for a long time, so. Um, it's just uh, to replace the code board under the instruction of engineer uh, because of uh, sometimes maybe for the bad, bad habit to shut down the power directly and frequently will cause the problem so you need to uh, provide the video of restarting to me and the SN number security label so these three items then I can do help to you okay so since this is a bad habit to cause the uh, to cause that problem so next I will show you the correct way to uh, close the close the machine okay the principle to close to do the close is um, to close the system first uh, then close the machine so uh, first uh, we can click on the red button on the screen like this okay then switch off the power on the left side of the device uh, if you uh, restart the machine the time reset to 2000 January, January 1st okay it means no battery the only solution to replacement the battery button you should inform engineer for me okay so you uh, the only uh, the only item you provide me is about the SN number okay uh, sometimes if you meet the touch value or black screen okay so with the only solution is to replace the screen under the instruction of in engineer so you should provide me the evidence of uh, um, video as a number security level. Sometimes, um, sometimes we after we new the system, the screen will come out error code zero one ten. And uh, that doesn't matter. You just uh, restart the machine directly, and it will run uh, run properly. At uh, part six, I will do some FAQs. Okay, here I just uh, do a brief compa comparison between iChroma second and the Bio YG first. Okay, so um, for the temperature control system, um, FIA analyzer, we have such function. For the date storage, uh, iChroma second is about uh, 1,000 piece, 1,000 piece, and uh, FIA system can provide 10,000 piece. And we also have the uh, disease checking, trend checking, okay? That is, can help a doctor and a nurse to check the patient health recovery status. And both of us uh, support LIS and HIAs. Um, capability, if you own FIA analyzer, all of the parameters from Biotan can use on uh, can use on FIA analyzer. Okay, so we also can provide software remote update. Update it also uh, convenient convenience for our work in the future. Okay, so both of these two machine contain with built-in thermal printer. And uh, the most uh, important I want to highlight is about uh, bio 1 first generation. We are 
own NGSP certificate. So how to compare two results between two different machines? Since we know uh, PLCT has uh, some methodologies, different company, different manufacturer, they are using different different methodologies. So we could not simply compare two different machines uh, directly about their result. Okay. So uh, here I should introduce with you a green zone conception. So what's the meaning of the green zone? A uh, green zone is a range of result value uh, for the test result considered positive, negative, and inconclusive. And the range of the value of the testing uh, being inconclusive is usually referred as to green zone. So I can make an example. So we already know the reference value about C about C T N I about C T N I is zero two three. Okay. Uh, so if today I get a result showing two point nine or three point one, we could not simply judge the result is positive or negative. Here, uh, it's low to green zone. Since we could not to um, since we could not to recognize the result, so um, here these two formula can help us to calculate to verify green zone is positive or negative. Is first one is CV value, second is a uh, correlation. Okay, since you want to compare two um, two machines result. Okay, so at least uh, you should prepare uh, five five dates to do compare comparison. Okay, so um, if the CV value under fifteen percent, it means mm, there is no problem about the result about the, the machine, and uh, if the Correlation is near near uh, near one uh, close to this line. It means there's no problem about the uh, reagent about the machine. Okay, so uh, since you are sometimes you are, you don't know how to do calculation, it doesn't matter. You can provide the uh, the date to me. I can help you to do the calculation. So. Uh, what do you need to do before making a complaint? Okay, so here are some items I require from you. So first, you should tell me which items uh, you want to make a complaint. Okay, the lot number and uh, test temperature, curves. The most important part is about the comparison of dates. So showing like. This table, okay. Uh, for example, you today you are want to uh, compare uh, the reagent between a rotor and a biochar, okay. So please to uh, make a make a list at uh, five uh, dates for me. Then I can help you to calculate CV value and the correlation. Okay. Finally, um, I want to highlight here if you want to apply for volunteering and. Uh, if you require some help from us, so how can you contact with me? Okay, first, uh, this is my email address, jenniferju at biochan.com. Okay, so if you met some problem, so please describe the problem in words or picture and the videos, then provide me the machine as a number and the security level, which is uh, showing like uh, the picture on the bottom of our device. Then um, apply for repairing or replacement or update. Okay, so uh, make a clear of the uh, materials I need if you require for renting issue. Okay, so thank you for all of you join today's training. And today's my presentation is end here. Okay, thank you all for you. Have a day. Bye.